Hi guys, this is Jay Max from Basketball Commoner YouTube channel where we talk about basketball and everything under the sun. So if you're here, then you're probably wondering why I resigned from my job and we'll get to that. But for most of you who don't know me, I have been working in the call center industry here in the Philippines for over 12 years now. So today I will be sharing with you why I decided to retire and walk away from a high paying job as an operations manager. I've been mulling over this decision these past few years and after being able to make sure that I would still be able to pay all my monthly bills without a job and still provide for my family for a good amount of time, I finally decided to give it a go and I have three reasons that I would like to share that led to this decision. Number one is to rest. Yes, number one is just to take a breather from all the stress and the daily grind. So working 12 consecutive years in a call center setting and majority of those years was being in the night shift. I feel like all those years of grinding and stress has taken its toll on my body and my well-being in general. So for the remainder of the year, I would just use the time to just rest, heal up and enjoy my retirement. I really look forward to being able to sleep like a normal human being. That's something that really excites me. I also need to address my weight. My weight has gone up considerably at 82 kilograms, which is really my highest weight ever because I usually weigh around 73 to 75 kilos. So I, I tried shedding it off like I used to through dieting and exercise, but I think the stress from my work would just hamper that. And so I would use the time off to get back in shape without the daily stress impeding my progress. In fact, it's just a little over a week and I already lost one kilo and my sleep has been very fantastic don't have headaches don't have my acid reflux anymore so for me i'm starting to enjoy the benefits right now after all health is wealth and at the rate i was going i think my soul was just screaming you need i need some rest i need to get away for a while and i'm doing just that so we're done with number one let's go to number two Number two is really to pursue my dreams, right? One thing that really led me to this decision is, especially during this pandemic, it's really the realization that life is short and you never know when your time is up, right? And your loved ones for that matter. So I'm, I'm taking the chance to spend time with my family, go do the things I've always wanted to do, and do the things that I'm very passionate about. So talking about setting up our farm, live close to nature, travel to places I want to go, coach and play basketball, create content to inspire people, get my feet wet in managing my own business, all those things, right? And I think of Kobe Bryant's death, for example. Uh, he has all this money he left behind, yet he was not able to fully enjoy it. Right? So you never know when's your last. So what's all the hard work for when you can't enjoy it anyway? Because you are either dead or you're too old to be enjoying life. So I prepared for this moment. I made sure to live a simple life, keep my overhead low, keep my spending low, make sure I don't have any debts, save some money, invested in a couple of things, and now collect my retirement money as well. We're now to Number three. Number three is just really upscale myself. In this fast-paced world, the advances of technology has been amazing. Even in the call center industry, we're now starting to use AI, chatbots, IVRs are more sophisticated, and speech analytics is now widely used. This is happening in all industries as well. And I feel like my knowledge has been limited and stagnant to the BPO industry. And I'm the type of person who really thirsts for knowledge. I'm 
curious guy. I always want to learn new things. So I'm taking this time off to get in touch with the things that I've missed for the last couple of years. And I've already started the process. And I tell you, it's amazing to hear from people who are thriving and some are even earning more while working at home. It's only been a few weeks, but I've learned a lot. Learned new tools, new programs, new sites I can use that I didn't know ever existed. Everything is now online and it's just out there for you to learn. You can earn money at the comfort of your home and being in total control of your time. So I plan to get serious about this maybe next couple of months when I'm fully rested and rejuvenated. So we're done with the list and I'm posting this video for other people who can maybe relate. <laughs> And maybe there will also be people who can learn from my experience. See if it's going to work for me or if it's just not gonna pan out. And if ever I fail, I f find comfort in the fact that I can hopefully find another job in the BPO industry given my years of experience. And just so you know, this video is just a prelude of my upcoming uploads, which will talk about a lot of things I learned in the industry. All the best practices I used and strategies I created myself. You know, things that propelled me to be a top agent, to be a top team leader after several years, and a top operations manager year after year. These skills and strategies are not only applicable to the call center space, but in other industries as well. It can also be applied in life in general. These topics would range from team management, metric management, relationship management, coaching, root cause analysis, and, and the like. And just in case you have requests, feel free to comment down below and I'll do my best to make it happen. This is also my way of giving back to the industry that made me who I am today. So I guess that's it. Hope you learned something. Again, this is Jay Max from Basketball Commoner YouTube channel. Peace.